Hello, good evening, a warm greetings, and welcome to everyone. Um, this session of uh, uh, discussing on this topic. Just want to say that uh, we have Spanish translation, and uh, if you would like to come into camera, you're very welcome. Uh, you can share. This is an interactive session. It'd be lovely to hear your thoughts as they come up. And if you want to share where you're joining from in the chat, it would be lovely to know where we're connected to right now. And uh, this uh, topic, the secret of inner power, highlighted to me one inspiration from Mahatma Gandhi, who said, strength does not come from physical ability or physical capacity. It comes from indomitable will. It's the willpower that is this um, true strength. And this is something we need to reflect on, but the aspect of inner power to actually affect a situation rather than be affected feels really um, necessary and relevant, especially more and more in today's uh, world of great change. And um, in order to explore this topic, we're going to be introducing Egos, who's uh, born in Latvia, and um, he was traveling in Australia and there came across the organization of Brahmakumaris who teach meditation, philosophy of Raj Yoga. And uh, for a long time now, since 2006, he's been helping with the running of a retreat venue in Worthing in the South Coast. Um, and so we're going to be hearing today in, in conversation with Eggles, so really looking forward to this opportunity to explore this subject. So warm welcome and um, and uh, lovely to hear your, your thoughts on this subject. And after that, we can maybe um, have a little dialogue and see where it goes. So good evening. Hi, Sarah. I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, the sound is good. We can see you as well. Okay. Um, so all is well. I, I don't know. I don't see myself for some reason. So I don't know what's, do you have this side by side that we see both uh, you and me? Uh, no, at the moment. No. No. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, this topic is amazing topic and I'm actually quite, quite excited. I'm, I'm not very familiar that much with the Zoom meetings. I, I would rather prefer to actually sit in front of uh, people and uh, have a chat and we could uh, sort of see who, who is, uh, you know, having questions and uh, what are your experiences. But I find this is amazing uh, topic because the whole world, I don't know how many billions, uh, uh, around probably nearly eight billions of people, and a lot of people feel powerless. Uh, you know, there are so many things happening in the world uh, during the last uh, you know, a few years with the pandemic and, uh, you know, there are so many things which can make our life go in a way we don't want. And uh, the question is, am I a subject to these circumstances or is there something I can do to change the circumstances in my life? Because uh, <clears throat> it's a very, very interesting aspect of life. Very. It's and I would say um, very few people who will be thinking about these aspects and who will take and start doing anything about their life. So uh, I don't know what's the, um, the way we do this uh, afternoon. Uh, is it you want me to carry on or you want to... Uh, st st because I've got quite a few things to, to cover and I don't know, you know, in, in this... Uh, it's actually quite a short time, really, to cover this uh, whole topic because I don't want just to give some theoretical thing but also to give some insights what you can do because otherwise uh, any knowledge you can learn so much. You can put the whole Bible and Quran or, uh, you know, the knowledge of the whole Encyclopedia Britannica, you can put in your head, there will be no change whatsoever in your life. And I really want to see and 
unpack why and because there are things which uh, we actually this uh, topic is the secret of inner power it's not a secret whatsoever but because it's so obvious it is a secret because uh, no one is using it very very few people who use this aspect of life and everyone is just feeling powerless so uh, you know how this uh, little uh, picture when you put uh, you know the uh, on the advertisement this little child with a, like a superman and trying to put his hands up and and the secret of inner power so i want to ask a question who are you in your life who are you are you the main actor in your life or are you just a you know supporting a uh, cast you know someone who just walks on sometimes so that's what i really want to uh, see and why we uh, are where we are you know most people would like to be really happy you would like to wake up in the morning and you know be ready for uh, every day you know to to do things to be happy to be joyful uh, but most people are you know there is no energy and uh, we feel uh, you know depression mental illness uh, you know there is always some circumstances some things around us now this uh, the war going on which means the electricity gas uh, you know there's so much things which are affecting our life and uh, we, you can get really really depressed uh, completely you know your life uh, is uh, it's best not to even live but there is also other way there is other way how to do these things and that's what i really want to share because it's possible for anyone and it's possible now you don't need to wait you don't need to go to tibet you don't need to spend years and years you can actually start now and today and actually it's an amazing day tomorrow is a full moon and i think it's a very very special uh, energy actually in the air right now so it's amazing start which uh, we can all start and uh, do miraculous things in your life. You will see things will change in your life the way you would never ever have even dreamt at all. There is no idea that that's possible because most people think uh, nothing is possible, but uh, I will show you that uh, there is so much possible in your life. So uh, Sarah, let me know if you want me to carry on or you want uh, some kind of other format, but uh, I've got lots of things uh, to, to cover. <clears throat> Let's carry on and um, for those who have questions, pop them in the chat and then maybe we'll create little time at the end and we can we can go through them. But let's continue the momentum. Sounds great. Yeah, so so one thing is uh, now um, we all want to be successful. We all want to be, you know, full of energy. We all want to have good relationships. We want to be, you know, full of abundance in our life. But you know why we don't have a lot of these things. I mean, most of us uh, who are joining this uh, will have some issues in relationships. Uh, uh, you might be struggling, like now everyone is thinking about uh, economy. You know, it's like, you know, now so there's some saying even either heat or eat, you know, either you get heating or you have something to put in your mouth. Uh, so there's so many things uh, which are affecting our life and, and we are always like some kind of a victims of uh, the whole thing what's going on, you know, for, for a year we couldn't go out and you were, you know, the jobs, everything was closed. So, so there are things like that. Now, why the life is like that? Why the things are like this in this way? And does it have to be like that? And I will give you a very very blunt uh um actually it's a very very nice quote by george bernard Shaw that uh, he said that people are always blaming the, their circumstances for what they are i don't believe in circumstances the people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want and if they can't find them make them so it sounds great. Yes, I know many will see. Yeah, very good quote, uh, you know, but how, how and why we are unable to do it. So let's go back to something very, very deep and uh, how us as human beings, again, 
it's a it's a topic of exploration. There is lots of quantum science now coming up with these uh, uh, ideas, and actually, it's uh, becoming more and more as a mainstream. But it's the aspect of our makeup. To what extent, us as a human being, where actually the whole thing, the way you are, where it's coming from. Uh, you know, some might be thinking, oh, there is no reincarnation, you know, there is nothing, you just, okay, let's leave alone reincarnation. But why we are the way we are, why our life is the way it is. And uh, the answer is very, very, it's, it's, it's like a secret, but it's actually not a secret. And now many, many know who, especially people who do some spiritual things, some books that we all get uh, program basically when you grow up from age uh, when you even get conceived in your mother's womb already until approximately age seven eight you are like a sponge and you absorb everything so basically you are programmed uh, like a empty chip and empty computer chip and you are programmed about your life and, and it, the, the programs are so different where you are born so uh, these programs are passed on from the ancestors down the generations you know sometimes uh, people think oh i I'm, I'm just a soul you know i i you know don't I have nothing to do with this uh, physical body the thing is uh, if you think deeply, uh, your nose, if you go back and if you had uh, pictures of your great, 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 great grandfather, grandmother, you will find your nose will be 600, 700 years back in history. You will find your nose is sitting on someone's uh, face or your arms, you know, exactly the same length, the, the fingernails, everything the memory of the genetic uh, code is being passed down the line, down the line from thousands of years back. In the same way, the way people were thinking, leading their lives, the way uh, men would uh, treat women, the, the way the society was treating children, these are like programs which get passed on, not consciously, nothing is done consciously, but it's just being passed on from generation to generation. Now, uh, you are born wherever, in India or England, you get programmed like a fresh computer, you know, Apple or IBM, doesn't matter which, uh, but you get programmed with these programs. Now, the, the, the problem is now, how, how do I, you know, some people, how do I know what my programs are? Well, you can easily check your programs uh, by looking around your life. So that's where you see the playing out of the programs. And I will give you a very, very uh, interesting uh, uh, aspect uh, how you can understand this more deeply. Let's say you are just uh, 17 or you want to learn to drive a car. Yeah, I remember myself, you know, first time you get your dad gives, you know, okay, sit down and you you start sweating, you know, I don't know how to put the clutch and you don't know, you know, and, and then when you start learning, you first time you're on the road, you know, you're, you're sweating, you're, you know, you don't know the gears and then you have to learn parking and then, the, you know, it's, it's like a nightmare. Now, after 10 years of driving, five years of driving, when you, when you have uh, learned driving, you can, uh, you know, chat with your friends. You can, like I was recently coming from Oxford. I was speaking to someone. We were in deep aspects of conversation about life. And I was changing lanes. There were big trucks coming, merging with lanes. I was not even, I was just, because there is a program in me, which is running how to drive. That's what you have to understand that the whole, that, that's what actually one of the aspects I wanted to bring, bring up that our life, you know, only the tip of the iceberg is above the uh, water. The rest of the iceberg, your subconsciousness, is the one which is running your life. So whatever is happening in our lives is because of all these programs which are under the water, which you have no clue even. The only clue you have is what's going on around. If you have, uh, you know, uh, no money, if you have no job, you're always struggling. If your health is no good, 
if you have poor relationships, but also it could be good things. These things are all stemming from your subconscious recordings, these uh, past, uh, past down the line. Uh, even if you understand uh, the soul and maybe you believe in reincarnation, that's another aspect. But just from this uh, uh, ancestry of the body where you are born, in, you get these programs passed uh, like a computer chip and everything is in place. Now, uh, I just wanted to say, um, yeah. um, if you can maybe a little slower for the translation, okay. it would be would be great. Thank yeah. you. So now, the thing is, uh, most people, uh, you know, most people, uh, many, I, I know so many people, uh, you know, we all have lots of uh, people have problems, you know, they have problems of uh, material problems, relationship problems, uh, you know, all kinds of problems you can imagine, you know. Now, also, another aspect is people have no energy. Everyone is like, oh, I have no energy, you know, autoimmune disease, uh, all kinds of diseases, mental disease, you know, uh, depression, my mind, I'm really, you know, very, you know, not very, no, I have no enthusiasm for life. Why these things? I mean, I will give you this uh, whole concept that it's a lot of these things are to do with these subconscious programs. And uh, obviously, um, it's a... Uh, that's not what I went, want to convey in this, uh, you know, meeting with, with all of you. I want to look at the things what you can do because we are miraculous beings, miraculous. You know that uh, if you compare your body, uh, no matter what problems it has, seek uh, some organs not functioning, whatever, your body in comparison to the most advanced the, you know the computers on this planet the, the nasa the ones who go to the you know stars uh, you know any most most complex computer is like a baby's toy in comparison to the way your body is functioning and, and operating it's a miraculous machine miraculous and if you understood a little bit about how to change the programs we, and we will see how we how we can do it. You will your your life will go from uh, from uh, minus hundred to plus hundred. Anything you want, you will get anything. From tomorrow on, you will start. Your everything will change. Everything, your energy and everything. So uh, I don't know if there is any questions, but uh, I will dig into the first aspect. I really want to look into one of the main aspects why uh, we are powerless why we feel no energy why we i actually have been thinking also our illnesses in a big big way are linked to this aspect in life in a big way very very big way so uh, if you want me to carry on i carry on or uh, some uh, question up to now yeah, thank you. Um, it would be interesting to hear, um, as you are probably going to carry on with this, how the aspect of um, our mind and thoughts connect with um, this programming. And it's, you mentioned, which was really nice, that it doesn't take long. And so I guess you're going you're gonna to sort of share with us um, what is it that perhaps you are using to make it quick because as you said it can be some theories trace it back through the generations and then even without that we've got the cultural conditioning so um, perhaps you're going to share a little bit more on the the method and uh, what makes it uh, simple yes simple because it's in you the perfection is in you uh, but we'll come to that a little bit later now um I will give you very, very, uh, maybe uh, you will maybe argue with me, but actually there is a, a not like a scientific research, but let's say approximately quite a lot of, uh, there are some wise people who've been uh, researching and they say that only 2% of human beings out of uh, all these 8 billion, only 2% of human beings think now you think only 2%, that's 
very that's very few very few people two percent only think now out of uh, the rest three percent think that they think and 95 percent of people would rather die than think it sounds uh, very uh, dramatic but uh, it is quite quite true uh, now the thing is how do you know now even about your life you stop and observe observe other people you have some friends your wife your husband uh, your some colleagues even spiritual people now pay attention what they are saying when when in conversations when you have in life pay attention what they are saying they would never be saying these things if they were thinking they would never be saying these things if they were thinking the same about myself what i'm saying am i uh, actually thinking when i'm uh, talking because thinking is not just mental activity in the head now the second thing is pay attention what people are doing they would never be doing these things if they were thinking never the same for me you would never be doing some certain things in life if you were thinking so yeah okay this is uh, maybe not very positive yeah okay so now what is what is thinking and so thinking is something which we all as human beings we have this uh, head with big brains you know i go to the sea every morning and there are seagulls they're very friendly with me you know they say they have a brain like a, 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 a pea you know they're very nice they're friendly you know make some noise but us as human beings we have this big brain now we can think but if we are not using that's why there is so much of mental illness because people uh, have become prisoners in their own bodies it's like you are you you become a prisoner of what's going on in your life you don't know how to operate this amazing miraculous machine which can make you like a superhuman a superwoman superman you can become a superman so now one of the aspects uh, we, why uh, this is happening and it's uh, that's why it's um, it's uh, not a secret but it it is like a secret if you uh, went on the street and i am not talking even now about you but if you went on the street on the street and you asked uh, people you know one two three hundred people if you ask what is what is what's your goal in life what what do you want to achieve in life they will probably sort of uh, you know flicker their eyes and you know what, what what do you mean now you might find even some people who have some uh, you know goal in life but even out of those very very few people who would actually have written down their goal in life and have it in their pocket and have a direction in their life. You know why there is no energy. You know, I, I went, I saw yesterday someone and a very nice person, very nice guy. Uh, he has problems, headache and, uh, you know, this and that. He has this doesn't function. That, that. I can see and no energy, no energy. The energy and this is the quantum science that the energy is abundance of energy everywhere at all times you know there is abundance of leaves on the trees there is abundance of of water in the seas and the, the energy is an abundance everywhere the problem is when you have no goal in your life you have no direction in your life that's why there are millions of people who walk around and, and say what should i do i don't know what should i do most people have no clue what and why they are on this planet and what should they be doing so so that is one of the main things why we are actually suffering in life and why that is because energy if you have no clue where you are going i will give you an example let's say we have a ship we have a huge ship and there is a nice uh, crew on the ship with a captain, you know, with a nice hat and they know where they are going. They know where the ship is going. They know all the parameters put in the in the ship's uh, computers. 
nine, 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 nine times out of 10,000 times, the ship will reach the destination where it's bound to go. Now you take another ship, uh, you know, ship, uh, take another ship, take off the crew, take off the captain and start the engines and just let the ship to go. If the ship gets out of the harbor, uh, you, you, we might be lucky. And if it gets out of the harbor, it most likely will, will end up in on some uh, deserted beach somewhere as a derelict. So now this is a, this is a similarity of uh, people's our our lives. When we have no direction in life, when you have no clue where you are going, it's like you go out of the uh, out of your house. If you have no idea where you're going, where I'm going. Uh, right, left, uh, you go somewhere, or if you're traveling and you have no idea where you're traveling, you took plane, you went to Kenya, then you, I don't know, maybe go to India, then to Australia, you have no idea, you just go around the planet like a, you know, like a fly, you have no idea where you're going. That's where uh, the problem of the energy is blocked, you are actually uh, blocking the energy of the flow. And uh, most, you know, I, I was laughing when this pandemic was going, there was one uh, caricature, I remember people were putting that uh, people sitting on the plane and, and then uh, there was announcement, uh, I'm your captain today and uh, I'm working from home. This is the state of most people, you know, most people are like the planes without captain and uh, the plane is just flying somewhere and you have no idea where, it, where it's flying. And that's why there is so much of the uh, misery. There is so much of uh, unhappiness, uh, relationship problems. There is, uh, you know, poverty. Uh, and, and the thing is nothing to do with the environment. You know, sometimes people say, I, I live in a poor country. You know, there is, you know, not much economy that, you know, we, nothing to do with the environment, nothing. You know, your life situation, if you are from India, it's nothing to do where you are coming from. You know, I had some friend from uh, Delhi, you know, he was trying, he, he, had, he couldn't find a job. He was really nice guy, you know, family, wife, uh, three kids, house, but he was never not able to find job. The thing is, it has nothing to do where you come from. You know that people in, there are people ice skating in Dubai, you know, in, in, the, in the desert, they are ice skating. So there is nothing, it has nothing to do what's happening in your life with your environment. And, and it's, it's now even more important what's going on with those oil and gas and everyone is just, you know, thinking, uh, you know, what's happening and how I will manage and like this. So, so this may is- I, May I ask a question? Yeah. Um, I was just relating to my own experience, what you were sharing. And in a way for myself, um, I was searching for meaning in a way, and although I had a goal, it wasn't something I could put too much energy in because I wasn't sure, because something inside, um, I hadn't really found something that I could really believe in, I think. And in this world, we can, we can often feel there isn't a very clear way forward. So um, I, I really appreciate what you're saying and this connection with energy. But what what would be the method, or how do we do we find something that is we feel a worthy cause, or what is it that obviously you have found that um, that gives you that energy? With someone who maybe finds it difficult to get into the motivation of this. Well, week? the thing is, Sarah. The main thing what I was saying is that you are leading your life, not what you want. Most people lead the life they don't want. They don't know how to get out of it. You know, they they go, it's Monday, they have to go to some office or somewhere, you know, have to do some money you need. It's like the life you're just dragging on your feet along uh, your life, but you're actually not enjoying your life. You're not, you know, very few people who have good sleep. You know, most people, they can't sleep at night. Uh, they are always, uh, you know, in lots of stress. So now I will come back to this programming and uh, that's why there are lots of things which are in our life, which are these programs. It's not your fault and not my fault, but there is a way 
how to get out of this that's that's why we have this uh, whole zoom thing you know it's it's a uh, we can uh, chat about these things and we can share as human beings we have you see the animals uh, uh, they live as per instincts they blend into their environment us as human beings we don't we have this big intellect this big head with a big brain and this is what we we can this is what we have to utilize we don't blend in you know we are not like some kind of a, a green uh, worm which uh, you know it goes on the tree leaves and no one can see it so so that no one some other doesn't eat it we are like sticking out like a sore thumb everyone can see see us but uh, we have this ability to change our environment to use your mind to change your environment to change your life and this is the, this is the most magical part of this whole thing this is like I, I tell you you start it tonight you will fly like an eagle in the sky you you will you will wake up you will sleep like a baby at night and all your ailments uh, all your problems you know everything with your kidneys or heart wh whatever problems you have it will uh, go away very very quickly very quickly so uh, if you want uh, me to carry on I'll, I'll carry on and give you as i say time is very short for this this we need probably half a day to do properly but uh, we can do um, in a short way so now one of the key aspects really to understand let's say uh, we unpacked yeah we are in a pickle you know we we have all this uh, subconscious and these problems from my uh, great great grandmother father how they were thinking you know yeah the life was tough you know people were thinking it's a you know tough life that's why we we also think the way they thought because that was the thinking uh, they put in, in in you when you were growing up you know the uh, money doesn't grow on trees you know it's like don't dream like this uh, we can't we don't have money don't dream you never dream because uh, you were told as a kid you have the program like i said you drive you don't think about driving you're in central london or you're in bombay somewhere you know there's six eight lines you just drive you know you listen music sing uh, so you have the program the same you have the programs of uh, 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 not believing in yourself or saying that uh, this is not possible so how do we change and as i say each one has you will have your own combinations uh, whoever is uh, listening uh, what your problems are i had my problems and still have some but uh, i have enthusiasm but i've got uh, my hands and it's in my hands i can do something about these things so the main thing is to understand that our spirit you see this the dna i said that your nose or your arms from your grand grand great parents uh, you you inherit like this you have uh, this dna but uh, there is another aspect the spiritual aspect which is that inside our consciousness there is the spiritual dna which is completely perfect you know we all understand oh we, we have been created in god's image what does it mean in god's image it means that we all have the the way the supreme the perfection it's within all of us there is nothing you have to add there is nothing to alter this and actually this inner perfection of every one of us is the that's the energy which will burst out of joy to actually go for these big dreams and goals once you start doing these things you will see your life will change like you have never even imagined possible and in one year's time if you if you do these things in one year's time you will need massive telescope you know to see where you were uh, one year ago you will not recognize where you were today in uh, in one year's time and even uh, in a few days you will see the change so now uh, let's uh, come to this uh, aspect uh, the perceptions the perceptions or our consciousness and we have this five percent uh, conscious mind and that's what we can utilize to change the subconscious but uh, the thing is you have to do it uh, if you if you expect uh, just some magic wand and uh, you know someone uh, will come and do something for me nothing will happen because 
the the perception this uh, you see that that's that's where it's already 736 but the aspect of your self image that's one of the main aspects in this whole concept we all and that's i know dr prashant and in cambridge they speak a lot about the self image how we see ourselves what is our uh, awareness we all carry you see that's what you all carry we all carry some kind of vision and image of ourselves and and in big way uh, the re the way we see ourselves is again determined by the subconscious programming so now uh, even the you know the health wise or body wise many many ways the way you see yourself that's how uh, the world actually sees you even if uh, we make we have most people will have like uh, multiple images one will be we try to project to people you know i'm nice and smiling but actually there is the other image which is that real uh, image which uh, you have these programs of the way uh, when you were growing up how uh, you were programmed to see yourself now we have this perfect image of this perfect dna of um, of perfection inside and this is something which uh, you can sit down and pen and uh, you sit down and uh, think about what you want in life and that's that's if you see if you sit in a very peaceful um, uh, th that's where the meditation comes in because uh, most people's uh, frequency of the brain is uh, like in american indian uh, you know concepts they say the, the most adults are like walking dead because your brain frequency is so fast that you are not able to do anything in uh, changing the metaphysical. Now, when we, when we are growing up, we, we have this free alpha frequency, which is the suggestive frequency of the brain when we are able to change uh, anything in the subconsciousness. And this is uh, the most uh, wonderful aspect that once you go into deep, calm, relaxed state and ask your heart, what do you really want? Because every one of us, I, I, I can't believe that uh, someone of you would not have any uh, dreams, what you wanted. And, and this is a, a dream, dreams about your life completely you don't think about small dreams when you were a little child you might be wanted to become you know many boys wanted to uh, become a space uh, travel in space or become a you know firefighter and and uh, the girls wanted to become actresses and uh, be, you know we had big we wanted to travel the world or we wanted to become cap there are lots of things what we wanted to to achieve and then and then when we go on in life, we just uh, have some jobs and, uh, you know, we carry on. And that's uh, because the programs were that these things are not possible. Don't even dream. Don't even think about these things. Now, I will give you uh, this um, exercise that uh, if you do this stuff uh, at home and you sit down and you think what you really, really want and you don't need to think how it will happen you don't have, need to think don't think that's why we our conscious mind again oh it's, how, how how i will be able to do it i have no money i live in a poor country and i want this but it, no you completely make a complete shopping list complete imagination that's why we have these big uh, brains and heads that we can imagine things and that's what as children we used to have uh, so much of uh, ability of imagination it's the one of the biggest uh, abilities of a human being so once you uh, come to this um, what you really want in life now the the process of changing of things you don't want in life and and you don't need to be a some kind of a, a scientist to know what you don't want you just look around your life ask your heart how are your relationships? How is your, uh, uh, you know, prosperity in your life? How is your, uh, you know, friends? How is your, do you love the job? 
you will see if you are really really happy with everything that might be good good stuff so you don't need to you don't just carry on but most of the things the things you don't want think what you really want how you would like you know you have some dreams how you would like to have your relationships uh you know harmony love respect uh how you would like you would like to have no problems in your life uh, uh you know what you want to do you want to fly somewhere uh, do this buy this car or whatever you want in life uh, spiritually you want to go to some uh, ashram somewhere to meditate you, you know lots of things you you maybe want to do just make the list make the list don't uh, hold back just make a list of everything you want everything you want and uh, the main you have to narrow it down to few things which are really, uh, really uh, very, very uh, important in your life. And this is where uh, is like a planting the seed. You, you see, when we plant some seeds in the soil, you can plant corn seed or you can plant uh, poisonous uh, nightshade seed. The soil has, does not mind. It doesn't care what type of seed you plant. It will give you the abundance of corn, corn, or it will give you abundance of uh, poisonous uh, nightshades. And human mind is even more fertile than the land. Our mind, the subconsciousness, is like like the soil where we plant the seeds. But it depends what type of seeds you are planting, what will be growing. And the thing is, if you have health issues, if you have uh, material problems, relationships, it means you have been planting some seeds which are giving these results in your life. But what I'm saying is that from now on, it doesn't, it won't take even long, even your health. You know, if you, you know, uh, most of the health issues, I, 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 I don't want to say it's only mental, but a lot of things are what we believe in life. You know, what we believe. You know that uh, there is lots of experiments where people uh, have been given a sugar pill uh, and uh, they would take believing that that's the very uh, effective medicine and they, become okay you know they heal because they believe so it, it's 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 proves a lot of these experiments prove that it's it's our mind which uh, can do miraculously magical things and that's why i was uh, mentioning that the most uh, complex computer on this planet is like a baby's toy uh, so that's why this is what we can do and uh, but uh, this uh, change of your subconsciousness will you have to start doing it as a consistent practice and, uh, and this is uh, where the meditation uh, you you can practice meditation which uh, at inner space cambridge is uh, probably having lots of meditation uh, lessons because your mind has to calm down in a very relaxed state and then you can create your own uh, commentaries of what you want and that's what you read really this this please write it down i mean some of you might know these things but please write down that the energy follows your thoughts this uh you know albert einstein you know said energy follows thoughts whatever is going on in your mind is happening outside in your life you are creator of whatever is happening in your life that's why you know I, when i mentioned this people are blaming always the their circumstances and i've seen even people spiritual people very you would think advanced quite often we blame the circumstances we will blame other people or uh, you know economy no you change the circumstances you change the economy don't you know it's 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 proven that uh, there there have been uh, lots of people who were very successful during big depression there were people very successful during pandemic some people companies they had the best time of ever so but uh, why most people will not be uh, flourishing is this aspect of uh, uh, very few think very few are thinking so thinking is something we have to learn 
it's it's not it's not taught in schools in schools uh, you get information packed in your head which has no relevance in your life it has no help in your life whatsoever you know um, there are lots of companies in, around the world in britain in america they spend billions uh, of uh, pounds or dollars on educating uh, more information you know more uh, upgrading uh, people's skills it has uh, no influence on uh, performance whatsoever very 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 little what can make change is when you make the change in the subconscious paradigms and there, there is another aspect called the uh, psycho cybernetics which is uh, like um, a thermostat you know in your room you have a thermostat you put on number four or five so when it's cold it keeps 20 degrees you know the radiator comes on when it gets a uh, uh, hot 20 degrees it shuts down in the same way your life these programs is like this uh, cyber uh, psycho cybernetic uh, mechanisms which don't let you to go somewhere else you you have like a settings inside your consciousness inside your subconsciousness that's why uh, health uh, uh, health wealth relationships it's all linked with your with our subconscious uh, makeup but we can change these settings and that's why i was saying if you do it today you will see miraculous change how your energy and life will change you will wake up in the morning like a little baby you will be bursting in happiness and joy to be ready to go for these dreams and you and and what i was saying don't think how these things will happen you don't you have to plant the seed that's the main thing what we have to do you have to plant the seeds of what you want and not what you don't want this is the biggest mistake most people are doing they are always thinking what they don't want in life they'd never think what they want you know economy everyone is thinking you know oh the, the price is like this everyone is thinking what they don't want and they get more of what they don't want if you and you will be very few that's why i'm saying don't link environment with what's going on in your life it's actually what's going on in your head is making your environment you know some people say oh yeah no money you know we'll we crash the pound and we, we need to change it into silver or gold and uh, to have it secure the security of your life in all the areas is linked to your mind to your subconscious makeup so if you change your subconscious makeup you will change the way your environment is around you and in your relationships your wealth your uh, health health is uh, another one you know there was one uh, very famous healer and he was um, asked and he he never thought uh, you know much about what he was doing but he said i can teach you this i can teach you how to do this but the biggest thing which you have to get rid of is disbelief that you can't do something and most of us we have like i said we drive like anything we have so many programs that we can't do so many things in life it's inside in inside but it's not you it's not you it's it's false self images which are uh, running your life but your perfect dna your perfect true self is crying to be released and to embrace the life and joy of life life is for living not for dying you know that's why uh, you know most of us uh, we lead life as if we uh, it's best uh, not to live so that's why uh, these things are possible and i i don't know uh, you know as i say it's very very difficult to uh, cover all these things in uh, such a short time but mm -hmm. I, I i did want to uh, maybe give you a little bit of glimpse or uh, how you can do you you can become very very creative in in this uh, uh, this changing your subconsciousness is the biggest it's the most marvelous thing you can do in your life you you become like a little child and start doing these uh, affirmations commentaries to feed your mind because 
what's happening is that in most of the people, as I said, like this aeroplane without a pilot, you know, who is working from home, there is no one at home. It's just uh, the thoughts are being generated from subconsciousness. And it's been proven that around 98% of our thinking is repetitive. The same thinking is over and over and over and over and over and over. And we get the same results and the same results all the time around in health, in relationships, and in, in our uh, other life. Can, uh, yeah, may I ask um, uh, this stage just a question that came up? Um, it re really resonates that we first starts with thought. But um, just to clarify, whatever happens in our mind happens outside. Sometimes situations are coming that um, we're not necessarily um, consciously, at least on our mind. Um, so how would you have any comments on this? And um, is it something that, um, that we maybe have the option in how we see it, but outside is a bit like a theater and it's our approach. And if we're coming from, from that um, true self, so I don't know if you have anything you want to. Well, Sarah, the thing what I said at the very beginning is that most people are not the main super actors in the movie of their life. We all have our life is your movie. That's your main uh, movie you're living in. But are you a main actor in your life or are you just like some kind of a supporting cast? That's where the whole thing is. When you have the, the power of, of uh, this, the secret of the inner power is actually within you, within everyone. And uh, so, so this is something which uh, you can regain, but you, I, I, I spoke to some uh, good friend of mine, I said, you know, you can do these things, but, uh, and, and things will change very quickly, but you will have to work socks off to get this uh, really going because uh, there is so much in subconscious uh, makeup, which you, you don't want uh, and you have to, but the awareness and realization, it's, it's like the moment you make your dream goal, when you start thinking about these things, you're already successful person. I tell you, you, if you write down a goal in your life you want to achieve, you are already one of the, top five percent out of eight billion people you will be very very rare person very very rare person you will be really uh, amazing how you will be able to change yourself and everyone else around you but everything will start with you and uh, the i mean there are certain things we can practice and uh, we can uh, adjust these um, affirmations specifically for your needs whatever it is but uh, i've got some i don't know if we have time like a little meditation or uh, which uh, i can uh, just uh, like uh, read few few of these thoughts which uh, like as an example uh, which you can uh, use in your life and the more you will be feeding your mind uh, because your subconsciousness is listening everything you see there's like a hodgepodge uh, going on everywhere around and if you are watching tv news all kinds of rubbish constantly that's what you're feeding see that's why you really have to be very very aware what you are letting in in your most marvelous mind which is so precious as as, as the most precious diamond so you have to re that's that's where your consciousness where i said Pay attention what people are doing. Pay attention to what people are saying. They would never be doing and saying these things if they were thinking. And that relates not just to the people, uh, but to me. <laughs> to me, what I'm saying. Am I aware? Am I conscious of what's... Uh, are you conscious of life? Or you are just dragging feet along and just, uh, you know, whatever is happening, happening. That's, that's where the difference comes. Uh, where the secret of inner power will become in your hands. It's not a secret because anyone can do it, but only you can change the image inside you, how you see yourself. I cannot do it for you. No one else can do it for you. Only you can do it for yourself. And there is something magical and marvelous and miraculous about every one of us, everyone. You see, that's where we, we, 
we think that we are nothing. You know, I'm just uh, simple, you know, all these big people, politicians or some big superstars. No, you are the star of your life. I am the star of my life and you will only be uh, free. This is a big, another big topic, freedom. Everyone wants to be free, but you will only be free when you are you. And not these false yous, but this true you, this diamond which is inside, waiting, your true heart, your true being, your true self, which is waiting for this call, for these dreams to put in life, to implement, they will happen. I give you guarantee, whatever you dream, if you start doing these things, everything in your life will change but you will have to be very, very strong because many people will think you are uh, going off track and they will, they will want to pull you back where they are. Because, uh, but you will have to be very, very strong and you will have to do quite a few things to, to change these uh, ancestral you know, programs we all have. Yeah, it's nicely put. It feels closely connected to uh, freedom and I love this, um, this quote this uh, secret to happiness is freedom and the secret to freedom is courage. So it's mm -hmm. like we're going against sometimes our own habits, but also of um, expectations from others sometimes. So this power just to stay true to what is really congruent with the self. Um, so I think we do 